So it appears that Jugendhack this year is also about adding discussion. We had the adding comments section to websites, and now we, if I understood correctly, I'm not really sure, are uh, about adding discussion to books with BookNet presented by Gilkan, Ipek, and Aitung. Welcome. Hello. First, I want to start with some quotes. How can a bird that is born for joy sit in a cage and sing? How can a child, when fears annoy, but droop his tender wing and forget his youthful spring? So, as you can see, it's a beautiful quote, and we want everyone to, be, everyone to have easy access to those kinds of quotes. So, uh, we developed a mobile application called BookNet. Uh, our idea well, is the our, our idea is to create a, a social platform where everyone can share their favorite quotes from different books and uh, start a, a discussion underneath those quotes to develop their thoughts and criticize those quotes and the books. And we also want we also want to offer our users to have a, a chance to create their own uh, uh, own refined community, uh, which consists of uh, similar taste of uh, uh, consists of similar literal taste. So we added a, a, sp a special feature for that, a location feature, and my partners will talk about it more. So we start with the timeline. Uh, we continue with the timeline. Uh, first, we wrote all our thoughts on paper. Uh, what should we do? What should be our spe uh, steps? And uh, after that, uh, we understood that uh, we should start with backhand, and uh, this is a must for our uh, project. So uh, we took uh, some mentoring, and uh, that was uh, really, uh, really helpful. And uh, later, we started with uh, Django, and uh, we, uh, we create our databases, and uh, later we use Python, but our developer uh, will explain it more. And uh, then uh, the iOS development show came. And later, uh, another points that key points that we should mention, uh, the, the databases, uh, was uh, books, uh, books table, reading table, user table, and code table. So now uh, we have a small demo actually. Like, and while we, we are watching the demo, I will talk about technologies that we use. And uh, first of all, like we have a login section. We are using Goodreads API. Uh, I think like many of you know about the Goodreads. It is the Amazon's collection of books and. Yeah, you can find also all sorts of books and you can create your profile and you can also create your own collection of books as well. So that's why we thought that it would be nice to use Goodreads as a um, login functionality in this application. So as you can see right now, there are like the calls from like various users in the app. And what we would like to do is the next step is to add a code. So this is the adding code section and while like we are adding the codes that you can like select through the books that in the that, that are in the database so it is like a very easy process and now we can see the like code in the like the main page and also we have this profile picture you can you can see your like favorite code and short bio about you and also this is the, like the socializing feature of our app which shows the near users of the app and you can just text message them and then you can get in contact with them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that brings me to a question I have. One last, um, because when using an e-reader, I can mark quotes, but they are then confined within the e-reader, and I can't get them out. So could it probably work that this software also would run on e-readers, maybe? Um, excuse me, I couldn't get you. Could you also do this software on e-readers? Like e Kindle, Toledo, those kind of devices? Mm, I am not sure about it, but I think everything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough for me. Everything's possible. Thank you.